I've enjoyed all the Newfie keyboards that I've owned so far, but my daily driver has been the Halo 96. Not only because I enjoy the Halo RGB lighting of the 96, but also because I've been living under the assumption that I really needed a number pad for my nine to five job. Turns out I was wrong. Before we dive in, I wanna mention that this video is not sponsored and Newfie did not send me the Halo 65 for this review. I purchased it with my own money. I do have an affiliate link to Newfie's site in the description though, and a coupon code that'll save you 10% off any purchases. Anything you buy will just help to support this channel. I've spent the last few weeks working with the Halo 65 for my nine to five job on and off in between testing another keyboard that also doesn't have a number pad. And what I discovered is that I personally don't actually need a number pad for most of my nine to five jobs work. There are some times when it definitely comes in handy, but for most of the work that I do at this point, I actually got by just fine with a 65% or a 75% keyboard. And I also really came to appreciate the compact size of the Nufi Halo 65 during that testing period because it doesn't skimp on style and quality, but it certainly takes up a lot less space on my desk than the Halo 96. Now, I'm not gonna bore you with the details of why I don't really need a number pad as much as I thought I did, but what I do wanna do is talk about the details of the Halo 65 from Nufi. The Nufi Halo 65 is of course a 65% mechanical keyboard with an ANSI layout and 67 keys and a price of $119.95. In the box, Nufi includes a sample of additional switches, a keycap and switch puller, and a USB-C to USB-A cable. As with the other members of the Halo series, the construction includes an ABS bottom case and aluminum top. The weight is fairly hefty for the size at 2.2 pounds thanks to the quality construction materials and insulation that Nufi includes in the bottom of the case and between the plate and PCB. It has a nice compact size of 12.5 inches by 4.5 inches by 1.48 inches tall. It also features two position fold-out feet to provide two additional typing angles. The keycaps are double shot PBT and wait a minute, those are not the keycaps that it came with. Let's put the stock keycaps back on and see what that looks like. The stock keycaps are PBT double shot, as I mentioned, and are not shine through, as you already know. They're Nufi's KOP profile, which is similar in height to OEM with a slightly different top shape. Switch options include Gatoron G Pro 2.0 brown and red, as well as Gatoron Baby Raccoon and Baby Kangaroo, and the Nufi Night Breeze and Rose Glacier. It should be noted that the Baby Raccoon and Baby Kangaroo switch options increase the price to $129.95. Connectivity options include three Bluetooth 5.0 connections and you can switch between them using the Function plus Q, W, and E keys. There's also a 2.4 GHz wireless option and Nufi cleverly stored the receiver in a magnetic slot on the back of the Halo 65 so you won't lose it if you're not using it. The 2.4 GHz connection is accessed by pressing Function and R. Of course, there's also a wired connection if you want to use your RGBs on full blast without worrying about the battery life. Unlike the Halo 75 and Halo 96, there is not a dedicated switch for the OS key layout on the Halo 65. To switch between the Mac and Windows key layouts, you can press Function XA for Mac or Function XS for Windows. Nufi really nailed the RGBs on the Halo series with not only regular individual key north-facing RGBs, but also the Halo ring light around the outside. There are 10 backlight modes and four modes for the side ring light. The Halo 65 can be remapped and customized using Nufi's console software, but it's not via QMK compatible. Unfortunately for Mac users, Nufi console is not currently available for Mac. Unfortunately for Windows users, Nufi console is available. All kidding aside, I've had a chance to use it a few times on a Windows machine, and the experience has been a bit clunky. I got my Halo 65 with the Night Breeze switches in it, and I've been very happy with them. They are very, very smooth, just super smooth on the space bar, which is really enjoyable. The Halo 65 has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, just like the other members of the Halo line. It should be able to go about 10 to 24 hours 
with the backlighting on and that range just is to account for the different levels of the backlight because you can have it on very low or you can have it on the highest setting. With the backlighting completely off, you should be able to get around 320 hours. So let's talk pros and cons of the Halo 65. First, let me just say it pretty much has all of the same pros that I talked about with the Halo 96. The Nufi Halo series are some of the best pre-built keyboards that I have ever used. For the price, it has an excellent build quality, really nice execution of the RGBs, and overall just has a premium feel that I wouldn't expect until you get up in the 150, 160 price range, but they're delivering that quality and that premium feel down below, really below $150. Even the larger size 96 is $139, but the 65 comes in at 119. I also really enjoy the aesthetics of the whole Halo line. I think they did a great job with it. Now, of course, if you want shine through, then you're gonna have to buy those keycaps separately, so that will add to the cost. But it really just depends on the look that you're going for. I really wanted to maximize how much of the RGBs you could see on this particular one. That's why I bought and installed those shine through keycaps. As far as cons go, if you're looking for a mechanical keyboard because you are really looking to customize the key layout, do complex remapping, add macros, multiple layers, things like that, then that's where really the only significant con is as far as the whole Halo series. You can only do your remapping, as I mentioned, with Nufi console, and it's a little bit of a clunky experience if you're a Windows user, but it is available. If you're a Mac user currently, it's just not available. But right now, I, that's really the only downside that I see at this price point. If these keyboards were north of $150, closer to 200, then there would be some things that I might nitpick about them, like I think the battery life could be a little bit better, but but at the price point of you know $119, for this, I think the feature set that you get with all of the connectivity options, the build quality, the typing feel and experience, I think it's pretty hard to beat. So overall, as I mentioned, I have very few complaints about the Halo 65 and I can easily recommend it to anybody looking for a quality 65% mechanical keyboard. I hope you found this review of the Halo 65 helpful. Let me know in the comments if it was and if you have any questions about the Halo 65. If you're interested in buying the Halo 65, I do have an affiliate link in the description. Anything you buy with my link will just help support this channel. Don't forget I also have a coupon code for you. Use code SEMIPRO at Newfee to get 10% off your purchase. Thanks everybody, see you next time.